Hello YouTube, this is the Fat Guy and I'm here with another haul video. I did do a haul video last night or early in the morning for you guys uh, about the Goodwill haul, but I did decide to go to the Salvation Army today for that 50 cent collar tag. So let's see what I got today and I got a lot. I spent $32 and I got three rather large bags over here. So I'm just going to randomly grab a bag. And we're going to work off that. Uh, I got mostly men's clothes today. I'm trying to get more men's clothes than women's clothes. And also the women's didn't have a ton of good stuff. So let's go with the uh, men's. Uh, first is just a Rue 21 jeans uh, large sweater. It's just a you know men's semi-stylish sweater. You know, not bad. Uh, all but one piece in here I got for 50 cents each. So I'm not going to tell you the price until I get to the piece I only I paid more for. But it was a really good deal and I had to get it. Next item I got is a Dockers 2XL basic sweater vest. Uh, I usually don't like to get Dockers, but this is a 2XL. So that's a really good you know size and uh, it's really nice. Next I got... Ah, Izod, kind of plaid, front button, long sleeve shirt. Good for the price. Uh, sorry, my bag just fell over and it's spilling all the clothes over. Uh, next item, oh, God damn it. hold on. Oh, here we go. Yes, I know, I'm weird. Uh, this is just another Izod uh, piece, but it is an XLT, extra large tall sweater vest. Again, holy heck, was that great for the price. Uh, next item is a really cool Axis shirt. I normally don't get Axis, but I thought, you know, it's a short sleeve, large, striped, uh, one front button. So someone who's looking for a good shirt on a good budget will probably want to pick this up. You know, stylish, it's good, and normally brand is a good matter for guys, but sometimes you'll get that one guy who doesn't really care about brands. Um, next, hold on, I'm trying to pull these out, but they're all tangled up. They rolled them up at the store. Uh, again, another Axis size large. I believe it was probably the same person who bought the other one, but look, it's a dark blue, nice stripe front button shirt, and it's in really good condition. So I'm happy to get that for the price. Um, again, I normally don't get this, but it's a Dockers. I did get another Dockers. Uh, size large, striped sweater. Nothing special, but... As long as I can make a few bucks out of a little investment, I'm happy. Next, I got because it was a slim fit, but this is an XL Mark Anthony front button. Not heard of uh, Mark Anthony, but I thought, you know, long sleeve front button, slim fit for the price, pretty good. Next is another piece I got. I know all these are pieces I got. Uh, this one is just a Perry Ellis size. There's no size. I did not see that in the store. Uh, size tag, cut out. But not bad. Basic gray sweater. Uh, next is one I was surprised I found. I heard some of these jeans do well. Not great, but I thought, why not for the price? Diesel size XL sweater. Basic gray sweater, knit sweater. Still, it is diesel. Priority Mel Diesel. So we'll see if that sells for some good money. Uh, I got it because it was a really good deal. Next is just an Alexander Julian Collars XL. Uh, this is an older shirt. It was made in Hong Kong. And uh, I thought it was really cool looking. You know, it's nice, striped, purple, blue, red. It, it is a beautiful looking shirt. You know, some guy out there will be happy to get it. Uh, now this one, this one's a newer thing. But it's a suit jacket, just a basic brown suit jacket. Uh, I'm trying to find where the heck the tag is that tells me who made it. It's a handcrafted or hand tailored by Dino Da Vinci. And that's all I really got. I have to find the size tag in this thing later. Uh, but I picked up a bunch of suit jackets today. Next, uh, simple polo. It's a John Blair, but I mainly got it for the size. It's a John Blair 4XL. And uh, 
Definitely heavy, definitely feels good quality. I don't know if Blair's a great brand, but I know if with that size, I couldn't really go wrong for 50 cents. Uh, next is another good sweater. Just a simple Dockers XL sweater. I'm gonna call this a polo sweater because it's kind of got like the polo look to it, but nice Dockers, you know, XL polo sweater. Uh, next is a High Sierra XL. Here, here's the tag. Not really seen much of this. Uh, it feels almost like a denim uh, or really coarse cotton. But if it is denim, that's pretty good. But just size XL, red shirt, front button, not bad at all. That's all from the first bag. I'm trying to get through the smaller bags before I do the bigger bag. Uh, next, I got a Evan Pacone. Sorry about that. My screen just went blank. I think it went into sleep mode for some reason. Uh, but Evan Bacone. I, I got to find the size tags. I don't know where they're going to put the size tags. But just a dark green uh, suit jacket. Really nice. Really cool adorned uh, buttons. Almost looks military. Uh, next. Another suit jacket. This one was made in Moldova. I know you probably can't see that. And it is a brand. Uh, it's called a brand is a Kill Boone and Finch. Never heard of them. But it's like a black. I don't know the style. But just a nice suit jacket. You know, 50 cents. Hell yeah. Next, another suit jacket. Oh, and I really like this one. Uh, this is a Permapress Classic Collection Action Separates. Uh, made in USA, USA. But I really like this because it's a got a nice lining to it here and it's a nice dark color black I think just basic black you know really stylish you know 50 cents hell yeah next another suit jacket this one is a uh, Joseph and B.S. Dillard's jacket I guess you would call this a tweed and this one was tailored in the USA but nice little suit jacket, you know. And I had to really make sure about some of these suit jackets. So I was looking through some of the Salvation Army stuff. And some of these have the white lining for the arms. And that was really yellow. Some of the pants were nasty. Um, so when you're looking for suits, always look at condition. Especially they got the white liner for the arm. Look for any yellowing. And the pants, look around the rim for any yellowing. Because that can happen. And it was kind of gross. Even one piece, I threw the pants away basically. And kept the jacket. Because the jacket was in great shape pants were trash i told him at the store i want the jacket i don't want the pants i know that's kind of mean but i'm not gonna spend money on a ugly piece of clothing uh next is a <clears throat> cricketeer suit jacket uh just nice basic collar uh you know it's not bad I, I i'm just gambling on a lot of these but for 50 cents a piece i thought why not Next is a AJ Powell 100% wool, uh, pure wool, a nice tan brown jacket. I really like the look of this. Um, it is a suit jacket, and I cannot tell if it's a man's or a woman's. But I'll do some research on jackets to see how you can tell. Most of them I can't tell because of the style, but when they really closely resemble... You know, I think that one, last one was a woman's because the uh, buttons were on the right hand, left hand side. Next is an Oscar De La Renta menswear. Just a simple menswear. Uh, made in Colombia. But just Oscar De La Renta menswear. Dark blue sweater. Not bad. And guess what? Another suit jacket. This one's a black suit jacket. Nice striped liner. I like that liner. Uh, this one is 
a Ralph Ralph Lauren. For Dillard's, I don't know if that really hurts its value or not, but it's a nice Ralph Ralph Lauren suit jacket. Real heavy, too. Uh, so that was a really good find. Next, is a, this is the last piece in this bag, is another suit jacket. This one is just a Hagar Imperial. Uh, made in USA, you know, but it's a nice little style. Uh, nothing too fancy, but again, for 50 cents, I'll definitely take it. Okay, next, uh, big ass, big black trash bag right here. Uh, and I would pick it up, but it's heavy. So we're just going to start from the pieces and the top. Uh, this item, yeah, this was the piece that I paid $2 for. Um, Salvation Army does all their shirts for $2, and I just had to pick this up. It is a 2XLT Ralph Lauren Classic Fit plaid front button shirt in really good shape i had to pick this up i'll easily get 15 to 20 plus on it so when i see these for like two dollars or less i automatically pick them up love ralph lauren and if that was in my size i would have keep kept it next this one was made in uh shanghai china just simple tweed uh, it's tailored clothing by Manhattan. Never really heard of it, but just basic. Uh, this one is a polyester jacket. It's a polyester wool outside and 100% rayon lining, but still not bad for a simple suit jacket. Next is another suit jacket. This one was made in Ireland. Uh, it is a Boston store of Arkansas. Ireland made thing that says Flingall Country or Fingal Country, something like that. Travera, I don't know, uh, but it's not bad. It is an Ireland made shirt or I mean jacket. I just had to get it. Next is a nice line jacket here. Uh, this one I gotta find the. Oh, there it is. This is hand tailored by Mendwanis in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Other than that, I got nothing on this jacket. There's no other tag I can see. But still, not bad for the price. You know, 50 cents a suit jacket, I'll take it all day long. Next piece, another jacket. This one looks like it's a men's. It, this one is a Hart, Schaefer, and Marks Baskin uh, wool. I believe this one was one of the 100% wool ones. Yeah, this is 100% uh, pure virgin wool. Really nice. 50 cents. I'll take it. And here is a, another suit jacket. This one is a barista expressly for Baskin. Uh, is this another one? Yeah, this one is another 100% pure wool. It's a really good jacket. Uh, I don't know if wool suit jackets do well or not, but I'll take it for 50 cents. And if not, I can just resell them in a uh, thrift store or something. Next is a Harris Tweed hand-woven Scottish wool jacket. Uh, this is a Harris Tweed, and it is actually the Tweed style. 100% wool, made in USA. Uh, this also says down here, Stefan Haggard's right here. So I don't know if this will sell really well or not. There is some splitting in the lining a little bit that I didn't see in the store. But that's on the inside. Someone will be happy to get that for a really good price. Next, and my arm is getting tired, guys. It's a lot of heavy stuff. Now, this one I thought was nice. This is a Made in USA Tommy Hilfiger men's jacket you know suit jacket real nice made in usa this white is white it's really nice looking you got this nice liner really good jacket for 50 cents i just had to have it next is another made in usa it's a pbm 
uh, Philadelphia August menswear uh, basic gray jacket. But this one, I believe this is men's because the buttons are over here on the left hand side when you look at it and usually women's are on the right. This is one that I really got because of what it was made for out of. This is 100% camel hair. I could not believe I found a camel hair jacket at my local Salvation Army for only 50 cents. I was like, what the hell are people sleeping on? You know, really nice gray camel hair jacket. I just had to get it. Next is just a regular jacket. It is a Ta Tahama Clint XL, but it's really heavy, really nice looking long sleeve jacket. Um, but 50 cents, hell yeah. I know what a lot of people are saying, dude, is getting the closer to the summer while you're picking up all these heavy, real wintry items. And that's because I list year round. I have sold winter coats, jackets, and winter items in the summer. I have sold shorts and t shirts in the winter. So it depends on what people are looking for at that time. And I believe some people may want to buy some of these, especially since it's still only about February. And uh, if you're in a really cold area, because it's still getting pretty cold in some areas, so you'll still want a jacket or two near the end of the season. Or it's with the people going to really cold areas, you know, when uh, it's summer, some people like to go to like skiing trips or cold areas to relax and enjoy a vacation. So I believe some people who want to go uh, go into a colder climate will probably look for some cheap jackets to take along with them. But this other one is just a another suit jacket. It is an Albert Nippon basic black jacket. I had to get it. Just basic black. Uh, it's always stylish. And yeah, before you ask, the reason why I got so many suit jackets is because one, I'm trying to get into them, and two, that was the first section I hit. I was trying to lower my women's clothes because I've got way too many women's clothes. Not really enough men's clothes, so I just decided to hit the men's jackets and suit jackets and then I went around. Then I went over to the women's and checked a few things out and then I went back and uh, got some good stuff from men's. Good day. And guess what? Here is another made in USA, but this one's of imported fabric, so that's cheaper. It is a Dargan Spencer DS exclusively for singletons of downtown Florence. Uh, nice little jacket, really good condition. I don't know the style, but it's really nice. Next, just basic uh, khaki collared LTD clothes style by Carl Hart. Uh, dry clean only jacket. I can't tell what this one's made out of because uh, there's no tag I can find right now. But still basic khaki colored. You know, that's still stylish. Next is a Tudor Court Medium. This is by Havand. Not great, but it's just a nice, you know, basic windbreaker with a nice lining to keep you warm. So 50 cents, I thought I could go wrong. Next it's just an outbound collection, 2XL, uh, men's or woman's. I don't know about this one. This one might be a woman's, but it's still a 2X uh, raincoat kind of style. It's not bad for 50 cents. Uh, next is a two-piece suit, I think. Yeah, here's the pants. Here's the jacket, and this is a John Alexander, uh, just basic gray two-piece suit. Uh, this is actually made of 100% pure wool, and the pants, if I look at them right, uh, made out of, I don't know. Uh, is that ripped? No, it's just really badly trimmed. Um, I can't tell what this pants are made out of, but still, two-piece suit, 50 cents, I'll take it. Oh, here's another two-piece. Here's the pants. Again, no tags. I have no idea why suit pants usually don't have tags. This one, ha this one claims it's a 35R. That's all I got in that tag. But this is a nice, like, dark green collared uh, suit, two-piece suit. It is made by, it's a Massimo, uh, Massimo Colesiani. Uh, 
it just says professionally dry clean. Um, it's a it's it's polyester and rayon made in Mongolia, so not the highest quality. But I thought, you know, 50 cents for a two-piece suit again. I did not want to go around there. And yes, I could finally pick up the bag. Hey, if you want to know how big this thing was full, it was filled to the top. Ugh, it was big. And I'm only halfway done. So this is a long video, but I picked up a lot of good stuff. And remember, it only cost me $32 for everything. And $2 of that was that Ralph Lauren shirt. So I got about 60 pieces here at 50 cents a piece. Uh, I don't know if they charge me uh, one piece or two piece on the suit, uh, two pieces, but I really don't care. Even a dollar is a good deal. Next is a really nice. Uh, this is a pregame. I think that's Dodge Chargers. Dodge Chargers just windbreaker. Uh, Fifty cents. I'll gladly, gladly take that. Sorry, I smell something funny here. Next is a nice black. Robert Bellini, Italy. Uh, made in Italy, that's all it really says. Uh, famous brand, it's 100%. No, this is a Super 100. Probably made in Villa, Italy. Uh, I really don't know what this thing's made out of. It does not really say. But I thought it couldn't really go wrong for the price. You know, a nice stylish suit jacket. Another black, basic black, because it's somewhat striped. Uh, uh, this one's just a Stafford, a Hartmax project or a product. But this one is another 100% worsted wool, so it's not bad. You know, 100% wool suit jacket. Next is a Heart Shaver Marks, made in the USA since 1887. Uh, this is just basic USA made. Uh, Four Dillard's uh, Heart Shaver Marks suit jacket, so that's pretty nice. Next is another two-piecer. Uh, this is a dark blue two-piece. Here's the pants. And here's the top. And this one is made in Canada. It is just a Chaps Ralph Lauren uh, suit jacket, but still two-piece Chaps Ralph Lauren jacket. Really good. I like it. Uh, here's one of the women's clothes I got. This is Banana Republic, size 8 blue jeans. Uh, I've sold some Banana, Banana Republic blue jeans, and they do well, uh, but um, 50 cents, I'd definitely take it. Next is a... DKNY jeans. Never really heard of them, but this is kind of like a nice metallic pattern on the butt. You know, it's like embellished with little metal dots. And it's a size 8, and it's just black. Usually black jeans do well for me. Uh, I don't know if size 8 is a normal size or a bigger size, but I would bet I could still get some good money. Probably 10 or 15 out of those jeans if it's nothing special. Still not bad. Uh, next is a Coldwater Creek brand jean it's a petite six but it's just basic blue wash jean if i can get that you know ten dollars ten to fifteen i'll still be happy uh next is another jacket this one was made in china it is just a stafford uh jacket uh does not give me what it's made out of but still not bad basic long black stafford jacket next is another woman's piece i got today this is just a high-rise jigging crop super stretch American Eagle Outfitters. Uh, Gene, this is also a size zero. Size zero. It's a really cool, distressed, destroyed Gene. Some person will really like that. Next, just a vest I got. It's a Rough Rider. The tag is actually somewhat washed out. It's made in USA, 100% cotton. Yeah, it's kind of washed out. It's hard to read what actually size it is. But just simple, kind of Western style, you know, vest. Uh, looks good. 50 cents. I'll take it. Next is a Forever 21 
top, you know, it was a little sweater, front button sweater. Again, front, uh, Forever 21 is not the greatest brand of source, but I like getting it because I usually get about 10 bucks or so for the pieces I pick up, so it's not bad. Next is a rather nice uh, Tommy Hilfiger sweater. This is Tommy Hilfiger made in Japan. Kind of like a front button heavy duty sweater. It's also got the snap buttons on here. Uh, just got the basic snaps, but still not bad. Red, I think this is a woman's kind of weird looking sweater, so it's a really good piece. Next is another. Uh, this one is just a Abercrombie and Fitch, New York, medium, uh, girls, women's top. You know, 50 cents, I'll take it. Sorry, I gotta get here. Oh, I thought this was cool. Uh, this is a Gildan. Not great, but the, I just had to get it for the design. It's kind of like 8-bit games meets... No, I think this is just 8-bit games. I thought it was somewhat Halloween-y, but it's... I mean, not Halloween, but Christmasy because I saw the snow. Yeah, it's, it's somewhat snowy. Yeah, so see, at the end, there's a snowman. It's kind of like an 8-bit design. Uh, really cool. I'll probably just get 10 bucks for it, but I'm still happy about that. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, another piece. Uh, this one was another Forever 21 item. Forever 21 large, just somewhat, you know, see-through uh, uh, sweater top, so it's not bad. Next is an Alfred Dunner. I have not done much with this guy's brand, but I just had to get this. You know, it's just a nice little sweater vest. Uh, good size, you know, it's a medium. Really heavy vest. Someone may like that, actually. I really don't know yet. Next is another sweater. but it's a Banana Republic large sweater vest. It's got this really cool design on front. It's not bad at all. Yes, this bag's almost done. Next is another suit jacket. Yes, I picked up a lot. Oh, no, these are pants. Apparently these are pants that went with one of the suits, so I'm sorry about that. And one last piece and the big bag is done. I got this because it's really colorful, blingy kind of style shirt. Um, the brand, I don't know if it's good or not. I did not base it on the brand. It is a multiples made in India. Doesn't sound like a high-end brand, but some of the high-end brands don't sound like high-end. This just sounds like a casual brand. It probably is just casual brand, but it's got nice bling to it. You know, the flowers got small sequins that are kind of clear with good pearl looking items. They're probably fake. They got blue little pearls that shine. It's just nice, colorful, uh, long sleeve top. It's kind of light, but not really. So it's good for like a chilly morning or even a summer day that you just going to lounge around the house in. But who would want to lounge around the house with this? If I was wearing this, I would want to go out and be seen. But still not bad piece. You know, 50 cents, I'm happy all day long. Now, that was everything I got today. That was one big haul. All of it clothing. All of it only $32. 30 of which is 50 cent pieces. I should easily get most of my money back if I looked at some of these from like one suit jacket. And also, it might just be that 100% camel jacket. That camel jacket is, oh my god, it is beautiful. I like it, and I heard some camel hair is really expensive. We'll see, I'll look it up. If it's nothing special, you know, I'll probably get like 30 or so dollars out of it. If it's a little bit more special, I'm hoping to push the $50 mark, but we'll see. I've not done a lot in suit jackets, but I heard from a couple of people that camel's hair is where it's at but i also got a bunch of other wool ones which is not bad a couple um uh imported ones i also got a ton of other clothing items for guys sweaters shirts also some women's jeans and multiple pieces so i basically hit a little bit of everything today except swimwear and pajamas not bad at all so this was my rather large monday haul video I hope everybody loves these videos. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos with all your thrifter buddies and uh, so they know what I'm getting. If you need any tips, just comment for questions and PM me or whatever. But for now, I am the fat guy, and I am out of here for now.